When you speak his word, you begin to participate in the working of a miracle. The Holy Ghost is God in the earth today. And you walk with him by saying words. My name is Andrew Hemstraw. Thanks for joining us. If this Jesus is your first time here, right make sure you subscribe. If this Holy isn't your first time here the and these messages day. are a blessing to you, then consider becoming a partner with us. Tonight, I am going to be talking about faith and wealth. And if that interests you, then stick around. However, this evening, I will be what some would consider splitting hairs mind you these are hairs that need to be split and without splitting them you still won't get it which is where most people are but despair not like one of my earliest mentors Charles Caps used to say I'm gonna say this so many different ways that you will get it by the way, Charles Capps was the first preacher that I ever heard say that the Holy Ghost is the only part of the Godhead in the earth today. Hebrews chapter 11 and verse 3, through faith we understand, do you understand? That the worlds were framed by the Word of God say framed by the Word of God so that things which are seen were not made of things which do appear the world's meaning the world you're in was framed by what the Word of God what Word of God the spoken Word of God say the spoken Word of God the worlds were framed by the spoken word of God so that the things that you see do you understand this language the things you see were not made out of things that do appear spoken words you can't see but that's what God used to frame and create this entire earth and the world that you live in we're talking about faith and we're going to be talking about wealth so wealth can you understand wealth could possibly be in the earth listen wealth is made out of things that are not seen so the thing seen was not made by something that you can see are you here and this thing that you can't see is a substance that you can have more or less of does that make sense you can have more wealth you can have less wealth created out of something that you can't see this substance you can have more of or less of now if I offered you a new means of getting wealth that increases your standard of living well beyond your current economic threshold would you take it now, most people would say yes yes I'd take it and then they would add if I don't have to change or do anything different than I'm already doing mm -hmm. well this is not for you then you doing the exact same thing will not produce new results you must do the new say I must do the new Deuteronomy chapter 8 and verse 17 and thou say in thine heart my power and the might of mine hand has gotten me this wealth you can see what's happening there he's saying he's boasting that I'm the one who made this wealth verse 18 but thou shalt remember the Lord thy God for it is he that gives thee power to get wealth the government 
gives me power to get wealth my job gives me power to get wealth he said the work of your hands isn't what gives you power to get wealth so here we can see God's telling you not to say that it's your power or your work that gets you the wealth thou shalt not say that so here we have a clue are you with me here we have a clue of what we should be doing that's different that causes us to have God give us power to get wealth he says say not it's the work of my hand he says say God gives me power to get wealth and this power that God gives you can have more or less of it this power this substance is accessed by saying say not it's the work of my hand but thou shalt remember and say it is God who gives me power to get wealth all right now this is not a new concept here at the society we know that the Holy Ghost is the only part of the Godhead in the earth today and we also know how to walk with him by saying words and his ways are higher and his ways are better and his ways are more say more more prosperous Isaiah 55 here we see in Isaiah 55 and verse 8 for my thoughts are not your thoughts neither are your ways my ways saith the Lord verse 11 so shall my word be that goes forth out of my mouth what does go forth out of the mouth mean when a word goes forth out of your mouth it means it is a spoken word say it's a spoken word so shall my spoken word be it shall not return unto me void and it shall accomplish that which I please and it shall prosper in the thing whereunto I sent it what is the it that shall do these things his spoken word his spoken word shall not return unto him void but it shall accomplish that what shall accomplish that his spoken word shall accomplish that which was spoken and remember it's by faith that we understand that this is how everything came into being and this is still the way God operates his ways are higher than your ways it shall accomplish that what shall accomplish that his spoken word shall accomplish the thing said the spoken word shall accomplish it the spoken word shall prosper what's going to prosper the spoken word not the work of your hands not the government not all of these other things the spoken word shall prosper I'm hoping you're getting this say God gives me power to get wealth didn't we already read that Deuteronomy 8 18 you speaking it causes it to come to pass in your life in fact each promise is a gift of the Spirit and I understand I'm not talking about the classic nine gifts of the Spirit in 1 Corinthians chapter 12 but it's a gift nonetheless saying it the promise of God the scripture extracts the essence or substance of it and you begin participating in the working of miracles it shall accomplish that what shall accomplish that the spoken word when you speak his word it extracts the essence of it and you begin to participate in the working say working of a miracle that's in that verse of scripture 
believe in the saying of God's Word and here is where we begin splitting hairs mark chapter 11 and verse 23 for verily I say unto you that whosoever who does that mean whosoever shall say so we have the first qualification here that it has to be someone who is willing to say something right for verily I say unto you that whosoever shall say unto this mountain be thou removed and be thou cast into the sea and shall not doubt in his heart but shall believe that those things which he saith shall come to pass he shall have whatsoever he saith so whosoever shall say and believe those things which he says shall have whatsoever he says and I like how Kenneth Hagin used to say it he used to spend three times as much preaching and teaching on the saying part because here we see it says say three times and it says believe only once but here what are you believing and then people would say oh I have to believe that the mountain will be removed I have to believe that the sickness is going away I have to believe that the money is coming in no that's not what he said we believe the things you say come to pass what are things you say words spoken are you here this isn't that difficult we believe the words spoken come to pass we're not believing the thing we believe the words spoken there's no belief or faith in a mountain being removed there's no belief or faith in more money there's no belief or faith in a bigger house it it has no faith so we're not believing in it does this make sense we believe in God's Word spoken because in that word is belief there's no faith in the mountain being removed there is faith in God's Word spoken it shall accomplish that it the spoken word shall accomplish that can you see how there's faith in this and there's no faith in that I believe in the word spoken and by faith I understand that this the spoken word is what accomplishes that which you can't believe without saying it you see that he believes the things he says will come to pass I don't believe in prosperity I believe in the word spoken which produces it which accomplishes that is this making sense and someone might say do you believe in prosperity it almost sounds ridiculous now doesn't it oh I believe it you don't have to believe in it either it either is or it isn't but to that person that says do you believe in prosperity I would most likely say yes simply because that person doesn't know what they're really asking but I believe in the word spoken I believe in a prosperity scripture that's spoken that's what I believe in prosperity scriptures spoken will accomplish that prosperity scriptures spoken are something to believe in <laughs> I believe in the word spoken because that's where faith is that's where belief is is in the word spoken this faith pleases God second Corinthians chapter 4 and verse 13 we having the same spirit of faith according as it is written I believed 
and therefore have I spoken we also believe and therefore speak we speak and believe we believe and speak this is the spirit of faith this is how we walk with God who by the way is the spirit of faith what do you suppose you are believing and speaking well he gives you a clue here he says according as it is written so we have something that's written and we believe it and we speak it and we speak it and believe it and that is how we are walking with the spirit of faith and in the spirit of faith so be converted into fishermen and not just a man with a fish the man with the fish is the guy who just gets healed and has healing and believes in healing the man with a fish is someone who gets some kind of prosperity manifestation and now he has a prosperity manifestation and he believes in that I don't believe in prosperity I hope you're hearing this now can you understand where I'm coming from you understand the hair I'm splitting I believe in saying God's Word concerning prosperity it is God who gives me power to get wealth it the speaking of his word out my mouth accomplishes that does God believe the things he said do you suppose yes he believes the things you say if what you're saying is his word I've chosen to speak his word Deuteronomy 8 18 it is God who gives me power to get wealth I believe in saying God's Word better more accurately I believe in having said God's Word past tense I've already said it so now I'm in belief I believe in the said Word of God and after about an hour of saying a verse of scripture I've entered into it it is something that I have believed I am in faith his faith because he's the one who put it in that word and I'm the one who put it in my mouth and now I am in it I move into it spiritually mentally physically financially wealth is a thing that is made out of something I believe and that thing I believe is the word spoken out my mouth Holy Ghost I thank you for blessing these people that you have brought them into a new way a new way of walking with you a new way of accessing the wealth that you have made and provided for them and great shall be the day when they will finally rise up and say that it is God who gives me power to get wealth we worship you Holy Ghost in Jesus name Amen if you have a tithe or an offering hold it in your hand say this after me Holy Ghost I worship you I thank you that you are the one who gives me power to get wealth I walk with you in greater and greater provision in this day in Jesus name Amen the Father is in heaven Jesus at his right hand Holy Ghost your God in the earth to 